Welcome back to Central Valley today. It's time for a market update. So joining us now is Brandon Gonzalez from the Fresno Association of Realtors here to talk about the uh, home ownership rate, the market, yeah. what's going on. I know it changes from month to month. This is like the the fastest and most ever changing story in uh, in our time right now. So what? How? Where's the market? Where are we at right now? You know, you're definitely you hit it. Right on. Yeah. You know, it's very fluid. Um, you know, in terms of, I just want to talk a little bit about affordability, as okay. you kind of touched on. You know, going back prior to the pandemic. So let's go Q1 2020. You know, Fresno, the fifth largest city, and let's talk county. Um, we were sitting at 56, nearly 56 percent affordability rate. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Basically. 56% um, of ca uh, the county population could afford the median sales price home. Yeah. Right. So let's chew on that a little bit. 56%. That's more than half of the people could afford the median sales price home. Right. Well, now, do you want to take a guess what that number's at? I bet it's at. I'm going to say it's in the 30s. It is. It's at 37%. Oh, man. And so that's a drastic dip, uh, especially knowing that we here locally have always been more of the affordable right. you know, place in the hub that people go to. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, there's no denying what's happened over the last few years, so I won't bore you with the obvious. Mm -hmm. um, but on a bigger scale, what that's starting to really do, uh, you know, with rates doing with their, their, their movement um, starting to increase a bit more, uh, we are starting to see things kind of balance out. Right. Uh, so uh, for, for homeowners that are always asking, well, when's the best time to really, you know, tap out and, and get my equity uh -huh. uh, that, that is built in, is it now? Do we wait next year? Uh, our crystal ball right now, as you were saying, it's just, it changes it almost changes weekly. It changes all the time, yeah. Yeah, you know, we have things happening on a national level uh, within even our industry that, are, mm -hmm. that, that trickle down to the consumer, you know, just on how we, we operate. And, and so all I can say is it's that much more important right now to stay tuned and really right. dial in with your mortgage professional, you know, your real estate professional, heck, your CPA, uh -huh. you know, that there's, there's bigger team here um, in the big scheme of things. And I think sometimes we get so short-sighted and just, oh, I saw this on the internet yeah. and we kind of take it as gospel. Yeah. And it, it just, it changes so much. And I think um, the change has been so drastic. I yeah. mean, you talk about 56% affordability to now 37. Right. That's a big change in a very short amount of time. And I think it can be easy for people who are around my age. So I am 33. Right. And I think it's really easy for them to think like, I'm never going to get a house. I'll, I'll never be able to buy property. Sure. And so what would you say to people who are first time home buyers yes. or who are really wanting to buy a piece of property, maybe in the place that they grew up? Where, where do we start and, and how do we keep the hope? Yeah, and I love these discussions, and I'm glad that's the direction we're going because that's just it. You're going to have to have hope, but you're also going to have a lot of education. Uh -huh. And it doesn't start when you decide, to, I want to buy a home. Yeah. Right? That financial literacy, and, and not to go into the weeds of when should we start really thinking about down payment, yeah. you know, and, and, and so forth. Um, but it is going to have to happen a lot sooner. If you're thinking about buying a home in the next two to three years, you need to start saving. Uh -huh. You need to have a plan. And going back to, you know, sitting down with people that have been through the process, yes, you can put as little as 3% down, 3.5% down, 5, 10, 20, however you want to go. Uh -huh. um, but uh, where I was going, you know, to kind of go with your, are they getting priced out? Yeah. Um, we really think that we're going to start turning the corner, and as things start to level out, um, also on a national level or on a state level. So the state association, we were there last week in Sacramento, uh -huh. and we as an association are asking our legislators because they recognize a very large problem in affordability, and, and uh, they're going to be working in a more uh, more money into the budget to accommodate more affordable housing. Right. And when we think affordable housing, it's not always just a three-bedroom, two-bath home. Uh -huh. Apartments, sure. condos, right? I mean, we just need more options for people, and then that will alleviate some of the pressure with those homes for the first-time home buyers. Right. And so it's a long play uh, on everybody's fronts, but it definitely takes more planning. And I think too, I think the education part is key. So understanding what finance options are are out there. You know, do right. you qualify for a first-time home buyer's loan? Do, can you get financing through maybe uh, a, an alumni group that you're a part of? Mm -hmm. You know, do you get special rates through that? I think education. Goes Goes a really long way right. because a lot of my friends who thought maybe I'll never own a piece of property in California just did the research yeah. and then they found a way to do it and you don't always have to have you know that 20% that 10% down which can sure. be a lot of money I don't think that you you know you don't always have to do that so I think 
Mm -hmm. Education is definitely key. You right. know, get in there and find out what's going on and know who to call. And you can call somebody like yourself right. or you can go to the Fresno Association of Realtors for great information. How can we tap into your information? Exactly. So I think it's just understanding like, well, where do we go? Yes, we have a, a consumer facing website for the Fresno Association of Realtors doing some research, asking around, right? I mean, when we want to go out to eat, we Yelp. Yeah. You know, we, we ask around, yeah. hey, what was your experience like? And, and as uh, I, we anticipate as an organization that we're going to start to see less agents because it requires more skill, more detail right now as we're talking about the education. Mm -hmm. And so really finding who's here for the right reasons. Now, can somebody sell real estate part-time and do an effective job? I do believe sure. so, right? Especially if they're dedicated to a, a, a group of specific clients. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's going to be very critical, I think, moving forward is you know, who you decide to work with. Um, it, it matters and how plugged, they, how plugged in they yeah. are to what's going on around. I, I do want to touch on, um, just because I don't want anybody to walk away from here feeling like, man, we're being priced out. Yeah. But the inventory is up 16% from last that's month. That's great. So we're starting to see things usually in the spring, you know, yeah. it's bringing out not just, uh, you know, fresh colors in the trees, but also in inventory. Yeah, I think that's great. That's more options, you know, than that's, uh, you know, it's evening out. I, yeah. I am hopeful that it's evening out, and that's sort of what I've, what I've been seeing. You guys are always giving me great information. He didn't tell me that, that, that it was in the 30s. I just knew that yeah. because I talked oh, to you guys good. all the time. Checking out my notes. <laughs> so Brandon yeah. Gonzalez from the Fresno Association of Realtors, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And we'll see uh, one of you next month for yes. our next market thank update. You, thank you so much. Right. Stay right there. We have more Central Valley today when we come back.